Tiffany, today Representative Patrick Murphy was at the Scripps Research Institute in Jupiter to talk with researchers about Zika. His visit comes after Palm Beach County received its first locally transmitted case of the virus on Monday. And just yesterday, Governor Rick Scott confirmed four new cases in Miami, all likely contracted through a mosquito bite. Now, Murphy says his goal is to get necessary help now from Congress. We need to make sure the funding is there from the Congress, that the NIH, that all the different you know, scientific institutions around the country and around the world can be doing the necessary research to get in front of this. Because regardless of how bad Zika turns out to be this summer, it could be the second summer or the third summer that this is really a problem. Here. To catch up to speed, there are now 21 locally transmitted cases of the virus. U.S. Senator Bill Nelson will also be in town today to meet with a group of local officials working to contain the spread of the virus. The meeting is at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and that's at the Robert Weissman Governmental Center in West Palm Beach. Our week-long Zika series, it continues tonight. We're going to take a closer look at what pregnant women need to know about the virus and how to best protect themselves. That's tonight on WPBF 25 News at 6 o'clock. And if you missed part one of our Zika series on the specific type of mosquito that is carrying this virus, you can watch it right now on the WPBF 25 News app. Tiffany, back to you. All right.